Welcome to the Hot Drop Homestead. I said keep the door shut. I'm trying to do my intro. This is the Hot Drop Homestead. I'm Cody, and this isn't finishing my garage floor. Now that I've completely uh, Dexter Morgan kill roomed my garage, I'm gonna paint the garage first because it's, well one, it's too hot outside to put epoxy down and finish this garage floor during this 4th of July weekend. You're supposed to do it at between uh, 60 and 85 degrees and it's definitely about 90 degrees this whole week. And so I've decided that I'm gonna paint this room uh, and then go to the floor whenever the temperature cools down. Uh, and plus, I don't know what I'm doing with the floor, so that becomes a little difficult when you're trying not to mess up the property that you own. Uh, so I've got a cool uh, paint sprayer that I've never used before. Don't know what I'm doing, probably gonna mess it up, but it's a garage, so I don't care that much. Uh, my kids are gonna be in this video following up, uh, touching up some stuff, and maybe I'll let them use that paint gun, which will be pretty cool. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, let's get into it. Okay, let's, uh, let's see if this works. Spoiler alert, it works real well. Phenomenal cosmic power! At some point in my adult life, I have steered my children in the wrong direction. I would say three of every five references that I make go right over their heads, and I can't blame them. I can only blame myself for not being the role model that they deserve. They don't get Robin Williams references. They haven't seen Jurassic Park. Whose fault is that? It's mine. It's my fault. I have failed my kids. I have failed my kids. I am a bad dad. I am a bad dad. Okay, I think this looks pretty good. I think overall, uh, it didn't paint as smoothly as I would like. You saw probably earlier that I rolled on pieces beforehand, and I think that actually looked a lot nicer, even though it's harder to get the edges, so I'll have to go back through, through a paintbrush. But overall, this thing was really cheap, and I think it worked out really well. Um, I am gonna end up doing the ceiling uh, by roller realistically, and I'm gonna do up the edges around here. And then I bought a really cool green color that I am going to do the trim to just give it a little bit of something at all. Uh, man, it is really, really hot in here and it's difficult to do this uh, with only one point of ventilation as I'm, as I'm going. So uh, when, when I was doing one side, I had a garage door open. When I was doing uh, the other side, I had this door open and it was really hard because obviously I should have worn a mask, uh, but I'm an idiot, so I didn't. Uh, so. We did it! I've got the paint up, the white looks really good. We're gonna do all the trim today. I'm gonna have my kids do everything low. I'm gonna do things high. We're gonna knock this thing out of the park and then you guys can see the final product. I would like to point out to every single one of you that I have tricked you into literally watching paint dry. Four out of the eight minutes of this video is you watching paint dry. The internet is just a wonderful place where you you commit tomfoolery against your your devoted audience. On a more serious note, I gotta say that I really am happy with the color. The dark green seemed black as night when I first painted it on, but now that it's settled in, it's a really nice dark green. I enjoyed using the painter's tape and peeling it off. That was incredibly satisfying. The kids learned how to paint some stuff. 
I don't know if they enjoyed it so much, but it's a memory. Hopefully not a terrible one. Uh, They got pretty good at it as we went on, and the room looks really great. It took a while, an additional eight months, to finish the whole room, but it's there, and I just have the the floor left to do, and uh, hopefully that'll happen this summer. It depends on how the weather holds out. Barring no setbacks with the deck and all the water damage, I'll likely be able to do that uh, sometime in July. Uh, Fingers crossed. That one does feel a little bit more like a high stakes project, but I've seen a lot of videos and read up on the process, so I'm really excited to try it. I just don't want to mess it up. So this here is my garage. As you can tell, this has become pretty much just a storage container for anything in the house that we once had a place for and no longer have a place for. And smack dab in the middle of it is my treadmill. The floor is old, the appliances are old, the cork board is old, and it's all yellow. My goal is to make this a beautiful room where I can work out and do some more DIY projects. Second spoiler alert. I did it. You can check it out right now. Look at that beautiful pan. I added some overhead lights, which you will see now. I have built myself a work table. I've organized my tools. I finished this thing. I'm very, very happy with the way that it turned out. It is a wonderful space. It took quite some time to finish it. It took even longer to finish the video, but I did the thing, very pleased. It's only getting better as I work outside, as I utilize the space. And now we end the video. There you have it, folks. This has been the Hot Drop Homestead. Love you. Say it back.